You'll find this 12 minute video interesting. It's with Kai Leroy. He spent time updating me with the many initiatives that he and his team are engaged in. He loves early stage startups and he's most noted for co-leading the ecosystem for the NFTs on the XRP ledger. His team is now actively building out a metaverse game, which is close to completion. They finished a very fun collaboration with the Uphold Exchange. They're about to endeavor into a rebrand, and we talk about the Bitcoin ordinals. It's a release of 100 ordinals. That's the version of Bitcoin's NFTs, which by the way, it currently represents 86% of the volume. This video is insightful because we learn about the ordinal artist community, what some of the trends are in NFT styles, and how this X-Punk collection on Bitcoin has a rare piece of Satoshi history. Enjoy. Uh, so Xpunks launched on the XRP Ledger about two years ago, 8th of October, 2021. Um, first, mainly named also XRP Alpunks. You know, we are, we're still very fond of the XRP Ledger, of course. It's where our home is. Uh, but in, especially with NFTs, you see that liquidity is, especially in a bear, it's very scarce. And liquidity is not currently on the XRP Ledger. Um, and so we decided to experiment a little bit because at the end, you know, it doesn't really matter where an NFT is. Uh, it's all about the community that's behind it. So whether uh, if you're on Bitcoin and Ethereum, Solana, at the end, you have a lot of overlap in regards to vision because you all want, you know, to grow the space. Um, and from an NFT standpoint, it doesn't, you should not be in silos. You should not be contained to one chain. You should, you know, reach for the stars. So we decided to take another route as well, um, you know, to see how can we break those silos because at the end, the XRPL has been very excluded uh, for numerous reasons throughout the years. In regards to the wider blockchain uh, public, um, it's its own community that is just siloed. Um, even though there's a lot of you know cool stuff that has been be being built, cool people that are building cool stuff, but um, they just it's very hard for them to get noticed on other chains. It's extremely hard. Um, so yeah, there needs to be steps. To, we need to undertake steps to break those barriers because at the end, you know, we're all sharing the same vision to grow, grow the space at large. Uh, ordinals were starting to gain a lot of traction. Uh, we know quite a lot of the leaders personally in the ordinal space as well. And we thought, okay, let's, you know, we started a conversation with them, I think about four months ago, and just, you know, see how it would go on ordinal, see how the technology would in, uh, like progress, you see how um, investment for product, product building on that chain also would progress because that's always a good signal if VCs want to take a leap of faith in one of these projects um, in, in early stage. That is a good signal to see where the space is going. Uh, well, uh, the x as Wallet, for example, they closed around, I think it was two weeks ago for 5 million seed rounds. So that's a good signal that there is building activity that people trust, um, which, yeah, we, we kept these conversations going. We got very fond of the Ordinals community. Um, it's very similar to, to ourselves and also to our community. So then we thought, okay, how are we going to execute on this to basically have the best of the both worlds? Well, we wanted to make sure that our current community is, you know, happy, is rewarded in some way also for their efforts. And we also wanted to see that we don't instantly look like money grab when exploring this new ecosystem that we just explore there to, you know, get new liquidity in. So what we thought is, okay, what do we just make a list of 100 people that has been, you know, supported us throughout the journey that added value in, in one way or another, uh, that is very active. So a couple of metrics that we looked at and we created a list of 100 people and those 100 people can mint one Bitcoin for free on uh, one expo for free on Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And, um, we actually will burn 100 Xpunks uh, or 50 Xpunk tokens so that the supply is not getting diluted. So we never want to pass that 10,000 10, point threshold. We really want to make sure that there's no more dilution in regards to IP for the Xpunks themselves. And we, and we wanted to do something new. So we thought, okay, what do we explore it in a way that 
everybody benefits. Obviously, it costs on it costs us some money, but that's you know an investment that is very yeah. It's not it's very easy to make for us because you know we can reward those that added value to us. So yeah, we're gonna go live uh, Tuesday the 29th. So that is uh, tomorrow. I, I don't know when this uh, <laughs> this video airs, but yeah, it's gonna be tomorrow on the Magic Eden Launchpad. Uh, and I'm very excited to see how it will go when these two communities from Ordinals um, and and our own on the XRPL, of course, will uh, yeah how that will go. Uh, but so far, we've re got a lot of messages from the Ordinals community uh, that were very excited. Also, Magic Eden was very excited to have us. Uh, which all for us is, you know, great signals. One Bitcoin exists out of, you know, what, what is, I think, one million uh, Satoshis. Um, and each individual Satoshi can be used to inscribe. So basically what you do is you inscribe in a block uh, that is mined by someone. And you, there's this whole, um, how do you say that? There's this whole... Uh, practicality about the fact that you have to mint, you want to mint on certain Satoshi. So that's like the rarity aspect from Bitcoin because they're inscribed forever on chain. So it's not like it's there's uh, something pointing to IPFS or Arweave. It's literally you're inscribed on the chain itself forever, which is, uh, you know, marvelous. Um, and so, for example, we, uh, the the expunks that are uh, minted, well, it's not even called minted, it's called inscribed. Yeah. Uh, so the Xbox that are inscribed uh, that, that go live on Ordinals tomorrow, they have, uh, for example, they are inscribed on block 286. And yeah. block 286 is, um, is, is, is a block that's mined by Satoshi himself, which is, you know, uh, it, it, it is a piece of history. So we're offering our, our, all our 100 supporters a piece of history uh, and an artifact. And that in itself is utility for, for me per personally as well, because... You hold a piece of history, something that nobody can ever do again on that specific part. Like obviously, there's gonna there's more satoshis you can inscribe on on that same block. It's still possible, uh, but the more the, the longer we the yeah these inscriptions continue to be inscribed, yeah. the less sets will be available. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's 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 different, uh, and it's obviously a lot less uh, cost efficient like the XRP ledger, uh, but it's yeah it's also just different. It, it, it's just different uh and i think difference is is good you know it's it's it, it it is another fun thing to uh to talk about it's another fun thing to learn more about um it's unique in its own kind yeah no you definitely see a lot of ai generative art uh however that has been evolved into more yeah less ai feeling art or how do, you, how do you say that like it looks less like ar art because it's you know it's been, been pro progressed people has been have been optimized their prompts and all that uh ai is also a step further than it was like six months ago so uh there's definitely some progression there uh if you and then overall the art that you see is there's uh, a lot of anime uh there's also some more cartoonish there's a lot of pixel art so in that sense it's not really yeah different than it, it was from a year a year ago uh, but what you do see is a whole movement on ordinals that goes into the one of ones. So basically what you see in uh, generative art, for example, is that everything is generated and there's like, yeah, let's say five one of ones in, in the entire 10 or 5k collection or whatsoever. Um, but what you see now in collections, for example, on ordinals, uh, that are very art and culture oriented is that they do a lot of one of ones, uh, sometimes even the entire collection of thousand, two thousand. So there is there is a lot more exploration into uniqueness, I feel. Uh, and that's starting to to evolve more and more as well. People are kind of getting, yeah, fed up with copies and the same of this, same of that. No, they do really want to create something unique. And I think, to see that evolve during, you know, the current market, I think that's awesome to see because I do believe that is um, a great step forward. Yeah, yeah. There's um, basically the NFT community now consists of three kinds of people. You have the the flippers, so people that just trade. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have the people that you know are just inactive, sitting it out or selling off. And then you have to, the actual, you know, the dire community that still follows everything, loves everything you're doing. You're still very present. There's a lot less of them. Uh, but, you know, the people that are currently active, I'm very sure that as long as, you know, keep your words, uh, don't do anything crazy, 
that is you know negative um then you, you you'll you'll see that they'll still be with you in the next two years you know um and it's awesome you know you you consider them your friends and they consider them friends you know they've group ch group chats uh they talk with each other we have our first community space uh next uh, this week so it's it's very exciting to see that also the community aspect of things is still very much growing and i think especially in the bear market that's when the real community gets created and then in the bull market you'll just expand everything and then when the bull market is over uh, you'll still have that core community left that you know it has grown then over the, those past couple months and then again it's time to build and then you gain their trust again because you keep delivering keep delivering keep executing and then when the bull hits again everybody's happy uh people probably make some money and that's it so how i see it it gives me a little bit of those underground internet vibes from 2010 2011 like when bitcoin first first started so it is it is not a mainstream community uh like if you can like you could see ethereum as mainstream you know like you have the the day-to-day -day degens that like to party a lot uh flip flip jpegs worth 200k uh vcs come in you know that that is like the, the mainstream area. And I feel like more the ordinals community is more like, okay, we were driven by results. We're driven by community and co-creation. Um, and we really want to make a difference. And you see that in the community aspects as well. For example, OMB, um, they initiated this program, this bounty program, where they pay community members to build certain tools uh, to onboard new people. Uh, so it's very co-creational. It's not very VC driven uh, as you can see on ethereum obviously um it's very creative uh it's more arts and community centered uh but obviously that 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 part is going to change as well as, as as soon as you know smart contracts and things like that will go to bitcoin but yeah i see a lot of overlap with our own community not necessarily with the xrp community at large but with our own community more like the outsiders that you know do a lot of cool stuff are very clever uh but kind of have this knack against mainstream things and just want to do your own thing um and I, I like that a lot individualism uniqueness a little edgy a little yeah. not, not afraid to take risk yeah I exactly like yeah i like it a lot it's uh nfts are fun uh games are fun and you know at the end we're just doing what we love and we're pushing ourselves into also those things that we love you know we love we love we love raves. I used to go a lot when I was younger. Not anymore. <laughs> Don't have time for it anymore. But used to go a lot. Uh, we love gaming. Uh, I've mm -hmm. been gaming since I was eight. So hey, let's just create a game. We love the in we love online community. I've been in online community since I was since as far as I can remember entering the internet. Um, so you know, we just do things that we love. We attract people that love the same things. Yeah. And we make sure that we always keep our word. And based on feedback and this, yeah, co creation with our community, we just build cool stuff. As I always say, Xbox doesn't ha come with predefined utility. We just build infrastructure and products that people use, and we'll make sure that our holders get rewarded in some, or well, not necessarily rewarded, get more like get um, get to participate in one way or another, in a fun way, in a playful way, uh, and you know they get some free NFTs and tokens in, in 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 the meantime, and just by just holding on, and they go out throughout this whole journey with us. Um, so it's. Yeah, it's no, not based on false promises. We just build cool shit and people get, get to join in those, uh, those things that we make.